Hi guys, in this DVD we're gonna talk about escape from the 10 kilos from the side control. And so the first thing I wanna show is it's all about principles like the DVDs before, you know. Uh, it's not just about techniques, but it's how about how about how to put your body, how to keep the body of your opponent, how to move your body and how to move his body. That if you can move your body well, if you can move his body well, then you can escape. If you cannot move your body well, if he can, you cannot move his body well, then he's gonna lock at you and apply for a lot of submissions. So you should understand how to keep your arms, your legs, your body first, okay, before you move. So the most important is when you keep here, your body should look, keep your elbow close, close, both elbows, because here you have your body is just one block, then you have a lot of strength, you can bridge, you can do everything. If you open, okay, now it's much harder to move, you don't have power anymore, remember the Kimura, remember the, the Omoplata, come here. For example, remember here, if I apply to Kimura, he has strength, uh, here he has less strength, okay, because, why? Because here, he's strong, okay? When I open here, he's not strong anymore. So the same thing, now I, I'm in the bottom protecting myself. He, he just passed my guard. I cannot desperate. I should, you know, keep the position and keep safe. So how are I gonna do that? He's, when he's in my side, look, the first thing is bring this elbow in. That's the most important, that's, you always just, you always should think about that. That's the most important. The another one here, okay, close, then you have power. And now, levanta um pouquinho. If you can close this gap here, it's even better because then it's hard for him to apply for mount positions, okay? Then you limitate a little bit his, his movements. Close here and stay here, okay? Okay, guys, now you know how to put your body, how to keep the correct position. So now you're gonna learn how to move his body. So to move his body, the important principle you're gonna use now is move your head. Because as soon as you start move your head, he start to lose his balance. So when I'm here, look, I'm protecting myself when I start moving his head, okay, with my biceps or with my hand, okay? So I can bridge, okay, to help. And when I start move his head, look, now his weight is not on me anymore. And that's the most important thing to understand. If you have all his weight on me, it's hard to me to move. And I wanna move from here. This is not good position for me. So what I do is I gonna, move his head to change his balance, okay? So I move his head and then I change his balance. And also, it's important to understand when you're gonna move the head, you don't move here. Here he's strong, okay? You move more from the, to the top of the head because then it's easier to make him lose the balance, okay? So let's do it this angle now, look. Elbow close, elbow in like we did before, that's important. And biceps here, put the legs on the floor to bridge and move, just think about that. Move the head, okay, that's the important lesson now. Move the head and now look my hips. It's are gonna be free, okay, when I move, okay? He's not on me anymore.